Hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of Iran Computer Science and Statistics. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to download and configure a BIOS router into your VMware Workstation virtual machine. As you recall, uh, a BIOS router is a uh, router, firewall, and a VPN Linux-based tool that really allows you to do and perform a lot of functionalities, such as routing private IP addresses, um, setting up firewalls, setting up VPNs, and really using a lot of the protocols that a router uh, could use because essentially it is a router. So, or download the OVA for VIOS, you're gonna need to go to VIOS.io. From there, you're gonna click on download VIOS for VMware. And you're gonna get the little download that's gonna be performing or starting at the bottom. And the download shouldn't take uh, more than five to 10 minutes, really depending on your network speed. It's only 231 megabytes. So every, uh, most of you should have enough space to download this. Again, it's very uh, low resources and it's not resource heavy at all. From there, I'm going to turn on my virtual machine. I'm gonna launch it and I'm gonna click on file, open. I'm gonna find the OVA that I just downloaded, which is a VIOS OVA. I'm gonna add a, you know what, to the end because I already kind of downloaded one, so I wanna just repeat the process, all right? I'm gonna click open, okay? And then it's going to create this little tool here for me because it's my second one and I'm gonna select import. And that is all there essentially is to downloading uh, your VIOS uh, router, okay? So I'm going to click on power on this virtual machine so we could see uh, what it looks like, all right? And it's going to say, welcome to the grub. I'm gonna select VIOS 1.1.8 Linux KVM console, and that should navigate me over to my uh, router. Okay, and once my BIOS router um, launches and starts, uh, I would use the default login to log into my BIOS. And so the default login is BIOS, and the password is also BIOS. Okay, so right now I am in what is known as operational mode. Okay, so operational mode allows for commands to perform operational system tasks and view system and service status. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the things I could do in uh, operational mode. I can type in show, right? And it's gonna say invalid show. I think I can write show help. And usually it'll show you what's um, accessible. Let me actually do this. So if you put a question mark in, it will show you the possible completions. So I can add an object to service. I can clear system configuration. I can clone. I can switch into configuration mode. I'm gonna exit this. So I'm gonna do show INC to do a show interfaces. Okay, let's do this again. Let me exit. Right. So I'm gonna log back in. I'm gonna do show INC, show interfaces. And you'll notice here by default that I only have one IP address and one uh, Ethernet port, right? So the IP, the Ethernet port that I have is 192.168.21.131/24. Ethernet one does not have an IP address assigned to it, and then I have a loopback address. Okay, so if I go to ping, and if I was to ping Google.com, you'll notice that I am not able to ping. And the reason I'm not able to ping is because my network configurations on this router have not been set up or configured properly. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to shut this router down, okay? Invalid command, so that's uh, fine. I'm just gonna right click up here, go to power, shut down. And then I'm going to shut down the router, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to configure the network for my router to make sure it can access the internet. So from here, where I have my VIOS OVA, <clears throat> that I just uploaded. I'm gonna go to edit this virtual machine. I'm gonna go to network adapter. By default, you notice that my network adapters are bridged, okay? And one of the things that I definitely wanna make sure that everyone understands is how these network adapters uh, 
<clears throat> okay, so here we are in the setting modes for my router's network uh, adapter configurations, right? So what we're going to essentially learn how to do is how to how the network connection can be used in uh, VMware, okay? So what we're going to talk about is how these settings work, um, what they're used for, and the different ways you can utilize them. So by default, right now, my network adapter for my VIOS is set up as a bridge connection. And what a bridge connection essentially does is it takes my virtual machine and it uses my NIC and it attempts to assign my router a physical IP address from my ISP or from my house, which basically puts it on its own individual network, which gives it access to the outside world. And I should be able to ping that device from any other computer using a bridge. And that's definitely not what I want to do for my first network. So I'm going to switch it over to what is known as a NAT. So it's going to perform what's known as a network address translation. So it's going to allow me to access the outside world by creating a private internal address, but use my physical machine's uh, IP address to connect to the internet. So if I click OK, that will automatically change my first network adapter in my VIOS to a NAT for me. Okay. Then I'm going to click and I'm going to notice that I have a second network adapter and that's also going to be specified as a bridge by default. Again, as you know, a bridge allows my network to basically get its own personal IP, which I don't want to do. We know a NAT translates my computer's IP into a private IP in the VMware, but translates that back to um, the private, tra takes the private, translates it back to my person a uh, public IP to access the internet uh, and I don't want to do that um, either okay then you have host only so host only is a private network that is only shared with the host and you really can't do much with the host only network in uh, VMware right and then I have custom where I can customize and specialize what I want do I want a VM net host only a VM net NAT or do I just want to create or configure my own custom virtual network, which I do not plan on doing, okay? Last but not least, you have the LAN segment, okay? So another option offered is the LAN segment, okay? So the LAN segment really is a custom uh, network setup as well. With this, you can use the custom network type to configure the virtual machine to use a network connection that you've created yourself, all right? So to do this, you can simply click on LAN segment. From there, we can specify what kind of LAN segment we want by going to LAN segments and selecting add and then adding our own LAN segment. So we can call this um, authentication, right? And again, you can come in here and name your LAN segments, whatever it is that you want. Then you can click Add and OK. And then when you choose on the LAN segment, you can basically click on the drop-down menu. Once you've named it, whatever you want, you can click, click on it and then click OK, and you would be able to specify that LAN segment network. So in a lot of ways, a LAN segment works as a connection breaker where you can actually um, create um, an uh, internal type of uh, breaker to essentially connect all of your devices together to really uh, create what's known as access control list um, for your network and really be very, very creative in exactly what it is that you um, would like for your system uh, to do. Okay, so that's essentially <clears throat> what uh, the LAN network. So it creates a personal local area network for you. Okay. If I go back to edit this virtual machine, right, I can add more network adapters to my VIOS router simply by clicking on add and selecting the network adapter, finish, right? And then you will notice now I have a third network adapter and I can go again back to the LAN segment and I can select from the list of names that I have, right? I'm going to do ACL connection and click OK, 
So now my router has three connections or three network connections, right? So if I go to edit this virtual machine again, you will notice that I have a NAT, which by default is gonna assign a DHCP address to my Etho zero. I have a LAN segment for my Etho one, which doesn't really have a network, I have to configure it. And then I have a Etho two, which is another LAN segment, which is going to configure my ACL connections for this. So to verify that this all works properly, I'm gonna click on power on this virtual machine. Okay, it's going to load for me. <clears throat> and if my network configurations worked properly, I should have three interfaces. And amongst those three interfaces, one of them should allow me the ability to now ping to the outside world. And the other two, I should be able to customize myself. Okay, so let's log in with Vios. Vios, okay. I'm now logged in and I'm gonna do show INC and you'll notice that now I actually have three um, networks, I mean, three interfaces, right? I have a Etho zero, Etho one, and an Etho two. So now let me try to ping Google to see if I am able to ping. And I'm noticing that my Etho zero is pulling from my DHCP. I can actually ping. So I have now been able to verify that I have network connectivity. So that is how you download and install your OVA using Vios and then connect it to um, the internet by switching the network adapters for you. Thank you for watching.